Welcome back. And here's the food for thought. Children are never too young to learn the principles of giving. And there's nothing more powerful than a living example for them to observe. Let them witness your giving. Encourage them to give also. They will see much more than money going into a plate. They'll see someone they love and trust committing their way to God, and they will want to do the same. Ask God to show you ways to pass down this principle in your family. And I am going to do the same thing because I, um, I have two nephews who they love going to church and they love, um, you know, giving and they, they love doing certain things, you know, for other people and for God. Um, but they don't, may not get to do it as often or they may not think about what it means to really give. And as an adult in, in household or parent, you know, you have to teach your children, train your children the way they should go, right? And um, basically, if you don't teach it to them, it'll just be something that they, oh, okay, I, yeah, I know, giving or whatever. But it won't be a principle in their life. It won't be something that they stand by. It won't be a, a foundation that you've set for them that... Um, they can follow and that they can can build upon their own walk with Christ and their own trust and their own you know obedience to Christ if you are leading by example then they they can follow that example and uh, one thing that I do like to do especially when I'm teaching um, at church and I teach six-year-olds uh, and five-year-olds sometimes <laughs> but when it comes time for offering you know, those kids who did not bring something to, 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 to offer as far as money, you know, some of them may have a dollar that their mom gave them or a little bit of change in their pocket or whatever. But I always go around and give everyone an opportunity to offer something, even though they have no money. And how is that? Well, I just say, you know what? If you don't have money today, what else can you offer? And I say, everyone get your offering in your hand like this. Even you can do it. Get your offering in your hand. Now, you may have zero. You may have a dollar. Great. If you have a dollar, put in that offering. If you have nothing, you can still offer something to God. So I want you to think about what you can offer. If you can offer your time, if you can offer your friendship, if you can offer a helping hand, whatever it is that you can offer, even though it's not money. Because you may not have it, but you can certainly offer your ear to listen to a friend who's having a, a bad day. You can offer your time to help a friend. I mean, especially, you know, with the kids, they want to help, help their mom with um, with chores around the house. You know, they want to help a brother or sister with their homework. Or they want to teach a friend how to ride a bike. You know, something like that. But as adults, you know, there's so many things that we can do to offer you know, more than just money. We can offer our time the first of our time, and we definitely should be offering God the first of our time. You know, the first of, of, of our love, the first of the things that, you know, He's given to us. So when I think about, you know, especially when you don't have a, something to give or, um, you know, you can also do the time. You can also offer, you know, your friendship. You can offer, you know, to babysit for someone who whose family wants to go out, or the parents, you know, want to go out on a date, something something that you can offer and you can think of those things they, they may seem small they may seem well huh? you know how can that make a difference how can God really that's not really offering something that's not really <clears throat> but it is you know it, it, it definitely is we honor God in so many ways I mean there's so many ways to honor him and give him the first and show your children show your any you know young person in your life who you know doesn't understand the principles of tithes and offering like you may or even if you don't understand it but you want your children to, to follow along with it you know you take the steps on your own and see you know and and Maybe they will hold you accountable. Kids are really good about holding you accountable to certain things. They really are. They're, they'll say, well, you know, you you were late. Even though they may have been, you know, they may have done a bunch of stuff wrong. I know my, my kids that I teach on Saturdays in my acting class, they said, you're late today. You are so late today. Now, hmm, a couple of them were late few weeks before but you know it, it was like they hold you to it they hold you to certain things you know even that even they may not hold themselves to certain standards but they hold you to it so your kids can help you to be more accountable in your tithes and offerings and giving in your first fruits they can definitely remind you because kids believe it or not they do like rules they do like foundations and things that they can you know be they can do on a, on a regular basis they like having habits even though they don't, you know, some of them have a hard time habitually brushing their teeth or teeth or, I'm um, sorry, or making up their beds, you know. 
it's okay. But kids, for the most part, they do hold you accountable. So I just wanted to share that with you as far as the uh, food for thought and and really leave you know leaving those principles behind and telling them why you why you tithe, why you give, and why it's important to give. Because a lot of times we just tell kids we do it because we're supposed to, and not really giving them the background of why. And that's kind of what Robert was saying is just like explain to them you know we went through some rough times or I wasn't always you know I didn't always have money because some kids grow up seeing their parents have loads of money and seeing them give to this and buy them this toy and you know go on these trips and things like that but they also if you have loads of money need to see you really giving and really you know giving back to God and, and giving him the first truth because them seeing that they know that it's just not about all the things that we can get but it's about reverencing God and, and giving to him what belongs to him cheerfully you know happily thanking him for blessing everything else that we have so I think it's really important to to make sure that, you know, kids have that example and they know why, you know, it is that you're giving and what it's for. And then they can join in and being, you know, cheerful givers as well. And that's something that's a seed that you can sow into their lives so that when they get older and they start to develop a relationship of, with God on their own and, and, um, and their spiritual, I guess, paradigm, they'll have that, that, that seed that will grow and will, you know, take root in them so that they won't depart from it when they get older. So I just thank you for watching. I, I want to bless you and bless your family, bless your kids. I don't have any kids at the, at the moment, but I have nephews. And so, you know, I really do want to instill more of an example in them to give, to give. So I hope you all have a great week. Bye. Bye.